welcome to Fasting 444. I am on the east side of Guanajuato. This is a small hill right next to where a drop would be facing west. And if there were drops in the city, I might see some of them. But as the game starts, there is one right here. So I just will stay here. I will take this Volkswagen Golf R and I am right next to this road that goes all the way from east to west through Guanajuato and the next arena will be on the other side of the city so I know I have plenty of time to take this route. I wound up uh, not seeing any drops down through here and I zigzag down this road because this bridge up here, sometimes there's a drop right there. There wasn't. Yeah, sometimes there's one over down there. There's nothing at the bat's head. There is a car over there, but I would rather not get into a head-to-head -head right away. I'd rather find a mid-level drop before I engage in head-to-heads. I did find an Audi RS6 car drop, and I don't have the beginning of this. I engaged in a head-to-head -head with a Porsche 959, a level 6, and as you can see, I beat them. What a great win, and I thought I might be able to jump across the river and go look at that drop over there, but it's just as well. I don't really want to be stuck on the other side of the waterway if that wasn't a higher level drop. So I'm driving away from where the head-to-heads are leading and I'm trying to catch someone around the perimeter and here's someone here what are they at they are in a level three Audi Quattro so off we go I should be able to beat them as long as I get a clean run through here and don't mess this up they are heading into the water so they don't have a shot at trying to contend in that head-to-head -head. so let's see level 7 Ford Bronco not bad okay let's drive around the perimeter glance at some drops along the way and I'd like to engage in a head-to-head -head, but I don't want them to be on the other side of me I've lost a lot of head-to-heads right there as of late so I circle back around I'd like to get them to come down the hill, which they do, and they get tangled up in the trees. And I will beat this Audi RS7. In hindsight, I took the RJ Anderson Pro 2 truck. I should have taken the Audi RS7. It's more of a level 9 speed car, but that's okay. I. Uh, I kind of like the RJ Anderson Pro 2 truck. My first final showdown win was in one of these. So let's see if I can't win another one. You can see the point I like to leave from on the map here and I will follow that road that's ahead towards the greenhouses. This is Arena 10. The range of time to leave is 21 to 24 seconds. That range of time is for level 10 cars or cars that have near level 10 acceleration and speeds, which the RJ Anderson Pro 2 truck does not. So I will leave it 26 seconds. Head to heads complete. Get ready for the final showdown. Final showdown begins in 30 seconds. I am up against an AMG1 here that is just parked, so hopefully they stay parked. I need an advantage. I thought I might have been early, so I slowed down as you noticed there. This car to the left winds up leaving early and is eliminated by the arena. Final showdown in three. Alright, the finish is towards the stadium.
I am looking for this tree that is on the other side of the expressway and at this point I know to angle to the right. You can see all those houses and trees and there is a dirt road that goes through there that has a bump in it that will send you flying in the air. I thought they might hit it but it didn't appear as though they did. They seem to be keeping up very well. Now I need to just go along the eastern side of the stadium and then once I get past the stadium, I need to watch out for these trailers here so I don't run into those. And just angle over towards the finish. It looks like the finish is just right near the bat's head. As I get closer, I'll see exactly where it's at. And it is. It's right on the other side of the bat's head. I can jump right to the finish here. What a great win in this RJ Anderson Pro 2 truck, Beanie and AMG 1. Congratulations! You are the Eliminator! The previous game I lost a head-to-head -head right in this area, south of the highway, west of the Pyramid Strip. And as the game starts, I see a drop right in front of me. I think that is an Audi S1. I'm not real sure, but I will move just a little closer so I will be right next to this drop. Okay, it is an Audi S1. That's what I thought I saw, but it was just, you know, a moment that you get to see what that drop is and I want to try and engage in a head-to-head -head after I glance at these drops. A little fail there and here comes a car taking this level two so I will chase them engage in a head-to-head. -head. That's a slower car actually I started uh, passing those up because the Nissan Tesuru is faster than that level two escort. And if I get a clean run through here, I should be able to beat them. I am kinda having difficulties with bridges here in this Audi S1, so hopefully the Bronco R will <laughs> help me uh, get out of that funk. And right away I get into another head-to-head -head with a Volvo and the finish is up the mountain I will go farther to the right the farther left you go you can see it's steeper there and it's not as steep to the right so around the switchbacks is a good line to follow and they actually they're doing well trying to get up the mountain but I got the win in I will take this aerial nomad and continue up the mountain. I uh, have had good luck finding high level drops up here away from everyone and so far that didn't pan out here but I wind up opening up the map here and look at where the arena wall of this arena and the next arena touch to the north that tells me the final arena is going to be up the mountain. So I will go over here and look at these drops and head back over. I want to try and engage in a head-to-head -head, but use caution because there's 17 drivers left. Odds are there are some faster cars in this game so here's a car right here they were heading the direction of a head-to-head -head. so I turn around on that car I thought I engaged in a head-to-head -head, but I just missed it they wind up in a head-to-head -head with someone else so I will go over to the end of Balkan Road and I've nicknamed this Balkan Road because Balkan is a famous Russian YouTuber. He had millions of subscribers, very popular in Russia, and I beat him twice back to back the second time right here. And <laughs> he kind of came unglued. He's very, very animated. But anyway, here's this uh, Porsche 
911 heading the wrong direction so I will just go over to the finish and level up that I just beat and as I am heading over this direction I can see there is a car over that direction so I don't want to head over there and fall prey to heading the wrong direction and them heading the direction of a head-to-head -head. I call that the wrong way driver I don't want to be the wrong way driver so let's go over here let's see if I can't lure them over Get them to be the wrong way driver. I'll slowly go over here. Yeah, they're right there. Let's head the direction of a head to head. See if I can't get them behind me. They're not falling for it. <laughs> they know exactly what I'm up to. And here comes someone just completing a head to head. Let's out here and see if I can't uh, get them to come over towards me. They're right there. I think they got into a Porsche Cayenne. Yeah, they're coming right towards me. This will be easy. Let's see. And here's that car. Oh, they're in a uh, MG Metro. And I have to watch out for them because that car accelerates really quick. The arena is shrinking for the final showdown, so I will slowly make my way over when I get done running into boulders. For the final showdown, I'll use the RJ Anderson Pro 2 truck in the final showdown here. see where I'm located on the map and I will follow the dark green down the side of the mountain due south. I call that the gap. It's a clear route. And this is Arena 18. The range of time to leave is 13 to 14 seconds. I will leave it 14 seconds. Alright, it looks like the finish is east of Muleg, so I will go east of Horizon, Mexico. And the point I'm looking for on the mini-map is there is a intersection I want to go real close to. This is a clear route. This intersection I'm going through right here. And then I will angle over to the left. There is a bridge that crosses the highway. Normally I would go left of that if I was in a faster vehicle, but because I am in the RJ Anderson Pro 2 truck, I will just take this bridge. Now I will go around the hill here and pretty much just follow this road over to the finish. 
There's some buildings on the right there I avoid by taking this route. This is a first for me. Twice in one day winning a final showdown in the RJ Anderson Pro 2 truck. That was that Brocky that jumped to the finish just after I crossed it. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Help me get to 500 subscribers. Thank you.